Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to use a test light. A test light is needed to perform electrical power and grounding testing to facilitate automotive repairs. This tool is easy to use and also reasonably priced. Before any tests are started, we need to test the light itself to make sure it's working correctly. Connect the clip or clamp to a known ground source. In this case, the battery negative terminal is being used, but almost any metal surface on the vehicle will work. Gently touch the test light probe to a known power source. We use the battery positive in this example, but any known power source such as a fuse or battery positive cable will work. Next, if we're going to test a fuse, we need to remove the cover for the fuse box. Once the test line is properly grounded, it can be used to test not only fuse condition by touching each side of the fuse, it also confirms power at the fuse. If an accessory has failed, such as brake lights, and the fuse test is okay, testing can then proceed further down the circuit such as a brake light switch and so on. A wiring schematic is useful when performing these tests. If you like this video, please give it a like. When power tests okay for power at the source such as a relay or fuse, yet power is not present at a particular accessory such as the cooling fan, a test light can trace down the problem through a process of elimination. So using our wiring diagram schematic, we were able to find that this connector here was burnt and this was the reason the accessory itself was not turning on. You can hunt down these problems as well as long as you have a wiring diagram and a test light. A test light can also check and see if an alternator is working properly. Power must be present at the large terminal of the alternator in order for your vehicle to charge correctly. A test light can perform this task easily. This electrical connector tested good while probing the wires before the connector. It wasn't until the technician removed the connector until the problem was discovered, which was that the connector itself was rusted out. A test light can be used to test for power at the fuel injector. Reversing the clamp to the negative side of the battery will check the trigger side of the injector circuit. Another cool thing you can use a test light for is to test for grounds. So what you need to do is put the clamp on the positive end of the battery. Now we can go looking for grounds all over the vehicle. See, now we're doing the opposite of what we were doing earlier. Before we were looking for electricity. Now we're looking for a ground, which is necessary for an accessory or any other circuit to function. And that is how you properly use a test light. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com.